Genentech's a large biotechnology company. We're around 12,000 people. We're based in South San Francisco in California, and we develop medicines for unmet medical needs. Bioanalytical sciences at Genentech is part of development sciences. That's a translational medicine organization. So we take medicines that look good in late stage research, put them into animal models, put them into clinical trials, and help to get them registered. As the industry, pharmaceutical industry and biotechnology moves into different directions of drug modalities, delivery, as well as different doses, the bioanalytical sciences is challenged by really understanding what needs to be measured and what technologies we might need to use in the future with these different modalities. Really our work is grounded in three separate areas, science, technology, and people. And all of those three things have to come together really well to enable drug development. I think what sets us apart is uh, that we get involved in um, the therapeutic uh, development very early on from late stage research. We really know the therapeutic area and the mechanism of action of the molecule that we are working on. Because we are not only involved in uh, evaluating uh, the PK or the drug levels in various uh, matrices, but also the immunogenicity of our molecules and uh, more and more we are doing biomarker development and trying to um, understand the mechanism of action and which molecules can actually um, benefit which patient population. Genentech has encouraged and support the uh, new technology and in innovation. Over the past year, several years, we were able to uh, bridge the, our knowledge in ligand binding assays and uh, mass spec assays and we were able to come up with a new, completely new approach to study antibody drug conjugates in vivo. These new technologies were able to use a capture probe, immobilize onto the magnetic beads, and that would allow us to isolate the ADCs from biological matrices. After we uh, performed the isolation of the uh, analyte, we were able to elude and analyze by the mass spectrometry. The biotransformation uh, information and the stability information really allow the team uh, to be able to make uh, the decisions uh, in terms of optimizing the linker chemistry to select the uh, lead candidates and to uh, better understand um, the impact on efficacy and safety. Within the bioanalytical sciences department here at Genentech, we support many areas, all the way from late stage research, all the way to post-marketing. So that provides our scientists, our RAs, our project managers, our managers, everyone that works with us, an opportunity to really see drug development and contribute to drug development from the very beginning to a marketed product. That's extremely exciting for us as part of the organization. The Bioanalytical Working Group is also a way for people to develop as uh, leaders where they are going to be interacting with uh, uh, colleagues from other departments. People at any level in the organization, no matter what their background, can have great ideas, new ideas, different perspectives on how to do things. So we really try and foster a culture of leading from any seat within our organization. It's an opportunity to contribute to IND filings, uh, being accountable for different uh, sections and also to have uh, opportunity to interact with uh, the FDA, for example. Sitting on the cross-functional project teams gives us a very clear line of sight as to what's going on with any particular project. So we have a unique perspective, but also we have the breadth to understand how drugs are developed. This is very uh, rewarding as a scientist when we see our drug, Kesila, who which was approved for the um, treating uh, the HER2 positive breast cancer. Uh, it makes you really feel proud to be a part of it, and it really motivates me to be uh, a scientist in the uh, biopharmaceutical industry. What uh, motivates me as a scientist is knowing that um, uh, somewhere there is someone who will benefit from the work uh, that we do to have a, a better and a longer life. <laughs>